Hi, my name is Eileen Halfpenny, and I'm a local artist in Sault Ste. Marie. I, I came here in 1977, and I've started watercolor painting, which was the type of painting we did in the Sioux when I, was, when I first got here. And, um, but this painting here, which was chosen the best in, in the show, it's not a, a watercolor painting, it's an acrylic painting. It's called um, Mother and Child by the River. It's, it's very abstract, so when you're looking at an abstract painting, you can look at it for a lot, you know, do something else and just sit in, it in a nice comfortable chair and look at the painting, and things will come out of my paintings that you don't see unless you sort of map them out, you know? And uh, that brings out a whole new um, feeling of joy when you find these little characters that are hiding in my paintings. You'll always see an orange line on the bottom of a painting of mine. And what I do with this, I split the, the scene as below the water and above the water. And this painting here signifies the mother, this, this her hair is all coming into the water, almost like a waterfalls and it's wrapping or guiding or watching out for her little boy who's over here. And he's trying to get his sailboat to walk to work. There's, his sails have been put up on the shoreline because he's having a hard time sort of getting it on the, the boat until his mother comes down and shows him how to do it. I find being in the woods joyful. And if, if you're in the, the woods and it's you're by a river, that's double happiness. And um, this painting has all sorts of little things. You'll, you'll be able to see the, see the branches on the, on the trees. Now, if you have, if you've been to Disneyland and you had those glasses that are one eye is green and the other one's red, um, and, you put it in, and you put it on and watch this, area, it'll come up and, and you'll be able to see it almost like a th third dimension. So that's what I like to do. I like to play with the th third dimension and I try to put them in my paintings. And it's usually you'll find the third dimension in where the white is and the white matches meet, may, meets the black. You know, when you're pre painting a picture, I start off by putting the paint in certain sections. And then I put it away on an easel and I look at it and say, oh, hey, where, what's coming to me out of this painting? And all these, thing, all these few things here are branches that have died or the tree has died and the branches are looking for a new home. So they, um, they show up and, and the white spots in there, the white spots on the branch, the little spots turn out to be third dimensional and, and if you're looking for them, you'll find them. I hope this inspires people to not be afraid of painting. Somebody says, you know, oh, I was told, you know, earlier that I would never be able to paint. And so the person believed that person telling them that they would never be able to paint. But that's not right to me. Anybody can paint. 